Hallelujah. Father, we worship you this afternoon. You are the Lord and you make us happy every day. You are masses are new every morning. You excel in your performance, O God. You are like no other in our lives. We are so happy for how you have handled us. We are grateful for how you treat us as your children. We are excited to be associated and identified with you. You have blessed us. You have impacted our lives. You have transformed us everlasting God. You have graced us every day. You have glorified our lives. You have lifted us from the bottom of the bottom. And you have elevated us by your mighty hand of power. You give us a name them that are no name. You give us a firm place to put our feet. You rescued us from the mind and mal from slimy and the confusing darkness of this life. We have come to say thank you for you loved the world and you gave your only son that he may die for our sin. The one that had no sin he became a sin. The one that had no cash he became a curse. Lana. The one that never knew infirmity and iniquity. He was subjected to ridicule of men. Because you love us. Thank you for the gift of Jesus. Thank you for Christ. Thank you for Messiah. Thank you for the Savior of the human kind. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for restoration. Thank you for anointing and upliftment. Abba Father, you are so good. And you have done mighty power for this. We honor you as we celebrate Jesus. As we celebrate word becoming flesh. And and in dwelling among us we celebrate God becoming man dwelling in the midst of us he lived in his sin and he sinned not he was rejected rejected nobody he was called in names he called in nobody names he was done wrong and he forgave everybody even those who put him on the cross he told you to forgive them he told you to forgive them for they knew not what they were doing this is our savior this is our mentor this is Jesus whom we are celebrating today we glorify you Jesus you are the king of kings and you are the lord of lords you reign forever and your kingdom shall have no head. In Jesus' mighty name. Shout and believe us. Amen. amen. Clap your hands, O ye people. Shout to the Lord with the voice of triumph. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amina. Go to seven people, tell them Merry Christmas. Seven people, tell them Merry Christmas. We are celebrating Jesus. It is the mass of Christ. That is what Christmas means. It is the mass of Christ. It is the celebration of Jesus. The Christ of God. The one becoming flesh. 
flesh and dwelling among us. Please take your seat and never go down. You are blessed of the Lord. You are favored of the Lord. And you are preserved by the grace of God. In Jesus mighty name. We welcome those who join this service wherever you are. Wherever you are, the Lord bless you. The blessing of the Lord in the house of God will contact and connect with you wherever you are. We are bringing in the word. The entrance of the word bringeth light. And giveth understanding to the simple. And you will be blessed. In Jesus mighty name. Welcome to this color service once again. In Jesus is the reason for the season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whether the world believe it or not. Jesus has a lot to do with our lives and with the world at last. When it comes to December, the world is at a standstill. People celebrate everywhere. Offices close down. People start moving. People are in celebration mood. December is always special. Not because of the food we eat. Not because of holidays we take. Not because of visitors we receive. Not because of budget we spend. It is because of Jesus. Christ is the reason for this season. And he cut a cross. He cuts a cross. All denomination of faith. Jesus never preached Christianity. Yesu hakumbili u Kristo. He preached the kingdom of God. The only message Jesus ever pleased is the kingdom of God. Christians, believers in Christ were called Christians as a nickname. Wa Kristo wa umini wa Kristo waliitwa wa Kristiano kama jina la kubadikwa. It was a nickname. Ilikuwa jina la kubadikwa. Because they talked like him. Maana waliongea kama wao. They preached like him. Walihubiri kama Kristo. They prayed like him. Waliomba kama yeye. So people called them Christians. Watu basi wakawaita wa Kristiano. They look like Christ. Wanafanana na Kristo. And Christ Jesus na, preached the kingdom. Na Kristo Yesu alihubili ufalme. And the kingdom of God is not only for Christians. Na ufalme wa Mungu si wa wa Kristiano pekee. It is for all human beings. Ni wa wanadamu wote. They are invited to enter the kingdom. Wamekaribishwa kuingia kwenye ufalme. Whatever faith they come from. They have an invitation to enter the kingdom. Everything Jesus preached it is the kingdom of God. He could heal the sick and he could say the kingdom has come to you. When he saved Lazarus when he, when he lays Lazarus back to life he said the kingdom has come. When he forgave that tax collector, he said salvation has come. We are in the kingdom of God. And that is why we are here to celebrate today. 